Math is the art of doing same things in different ways. Hello everyone, my name is Akshra Mishra. I am from class 7th year, roll number 2. Karmal Convent, Chine Secondary School, BHL Bhopal. Hello everyone, this is Rhythm Nehra of class 7B, roll number 40 from Karmal Convent, Chine Secondary School, BHL Bhopal. Manipur is a state in northeastern India with the city of Imphal as its capital. It is bordered by some of the Indian states of Nagaland, Mizoram, Assam, and it also borders some of the neighboring countries of India. The state covers an area of 22,327 square kilometers and has a population of almost 3 million. Nagaland. Nagaland is a state in northeastern India. It is bordered by the state of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, and some of the neighboring countries such as the Myanmar. Nagaland's capital city is Kohima and the larger city is Dimapur. The area of 16,579 square kilometers with a population of 1,98,602. So let us start with our double bar graph. Today we both are here to tell you all about the maths art integration. The things required to draw our double bar graph are graph paper, two uh, different color chart papers, pencil, scale, eraser, pair of scissors, and a pair of scissors and the glue to stick the chart paper's bar. So we have to draw a double bar graph on the number of COVID-19 cases reported from July to November in Manipur and Nagaland. The first block is for Nagaland. In the month of July, it recorded 1,460 cases. In the month of August, it recorded 3,713 cases. In the month of September, it recorded 5,830 cases. In the month of October, it recorded 8,712 cases. And in the no month of November, it recorded 11,159 cases. In Manipur, in the month of July, it recorded 2,505 cases. In August, it recorded 6,112 cases. In September, it recorded 10,477 cases. In the month of October, it recorded 13,272 cases. And in the month of November, it recorded 25,045 cases. So now, let us plot a double bar graph. So first, we have to take a vertical line which is the y-axis and a horizontal line, which is the x-axis. Now let us mark the point as x and y. The point which is inter intersecting the two bars, the two lines is O point, which is the origin. Now let us mark leaving two two centimeter blocks, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, Thirty-five thousand, forty thousand, etc. 
So now let us map the scale. So our scale is two centimeter is equals to five thousand cases, which means that the two blocks represent five thousand. Then leaving two blocks, it represents ten thousand, and so on. Now let us plot the bar in the month of July, one thousand four hundred sixty of Nagaland. So let us plot it. We have to take the bars over the dogged line only. Now let us take two thousand five hundred five cases in the month of July in Manipur. And so on, we make all the other bars. Now the first two bars are for July. Second is for August. Third is for September. Fourth is for October. And the fifth and the last two bars are for the month of November. Now let us cut the strips of chart papers of different size according to the bars. We have taken pink and blue bars. The pink is for Nagaland and the blue one is for Manipur. And similarly, we will cut all the other bars. And now we will stick these all the chart papers over the bars with the help of a glue. Now similarly, we will stick all the other bars. Like this. Now let us take the blue bar. Now let us make that which color chart paper is for which state? So, the pink chart paper is for Nagaland and the blue chart paper is for Manipur. Now, 
Now let us write that F axis represents the months. And the Y axis represents the number of cases in the state of Manipur and Nagaland. So the first bar is 1,460 cases in Nagaland in the month of July, 2,505 cases in Manipur in July, 3,713 cases in Nagaland in the month of August, 6,112 cases in Manipur in August, 5,930 cases in the month of September in Nagaland and 10,471 cases in Manipur. Eight thousand seven hundred twelve cases in Nagaland in the month of October, 18,272 cases in the month of October in Manipur. 11,159 cases in November in Nagaland and 25,045 cases in Manipur in November. Now, let us make it the craft and the handicraft and the art of Manipur and Nagaland. Now, let us make some lines in Nagaland's bar. Now let us make line by line inside it to make it a art of Nagaland. Now let us complete it all in other bars like this only. Now let us make all the other lines also with blue and purple sketch pens. Now, let us cut down some math sticks to make it an art of Manipur, such as the bamboo craft.
Now let us take these cut down mat sticks to make it an art of Manipur. Let us take the measurements and cut it down. Here we relate art with maths. As we use some of the math sticks in the math project, and we have used the maths in art also, as we have taken some particular ratio to cut down these math sticks, we have taken the measurement also. So we have stick it to other also. So we have moved to the last point of our craft. So we have made the double graph representing how art is related to maths and maths is related to art. Both are related with each other in some way or the other. We have taken some particular ratio to cut down these math sticks and some particular measurement to draw these lines between the bars. Now let us also represent these in our representation. Now let us take some particular measurement to draw these lines. And this is how we relate maths in the arts. It looks beautiful when we use some different representations to do it. And that is how the maths is related to arts and arts is related to maths. So let us draw the lines with blue sketch pens and then with purple inside it to make it more beautiful and attractive. So we have completed the making and the plotting of our double bar graph. Thank you everybody, hope you all have liked it.